This young family lives in Australia's least affordable rental market. They're priced out of buying their own home. The emotional toll and side of it is really what made us decide to stop looking for now. Property prices across the country have grown 22% in a year. Hobart's had the biggest annual growth, followed by Sydney and Brisbane, and values in the regions have outpaced those in capital cities. When the pandemic hit last year, property values were tipped to fall by 20%. Instead, annual appreciation in housing values that we've seen is the highest 12-month uh, growth rate since 1989 and rental values have also grown uh, since their highest levels um, since the early 2000s, so sitting about 9% higher. The number of new loans being taken out by first-home buyers has fallen by 11%, while the amount borrowed by them is up 1%. Instead, more of them are purchasing an investment property, with 6.8% rent vesting in 2021, compared to 4.5% the previous year. Overall, the value of investor mortgages rose 83%. First home buyers started with a bang with a record high number of first home buyer loans. However, that has slipped away month after month. Record low mortgage rates below 2% have fueled the property frenzy, but the cheap money is coming to an end. The RBA has signalled it could lift the cash rate as early as 2023. Banks have already started hiking fixed rates, while cutting variable rates to attract new customers. Banks are focused on gradually nudging up rates, and so borrowers need to be prepared to pay more. The pace of growth in the housing market is slowing due to rising mortgage rates, stricter lending rules and more properties up for sale. But the big banks are still tipping price rises of between 6 and 8% in 2022, before values drop in 2023. CBA is forecasting the steepest fall of 10%. Analysts warn that if a new COVID variant like Omicron were to kick off, house prices would continue to grow in double digits. The Reserve Bank of Australia would hold fire on any planned interest rate rises and potentially the financial regulator, APRA, would also hold fire on any additional intervention to restrict credit in the housing market. In Brisbane, buyer's agent Wendy Russell's never been busier. And I call it Southern Money is coming into Brisbane and what they're doing is they're, they're coming in with big cash budgets and they're cash buyers. Housing experts say future COVID lockdowns will also drive higher regional house prices. It's commutable regions that, are, that have good infrastructure and service provisioning that are going to continue to see heightened demand. As the gap between housing and unit values grows to nearly 38%, 2022 is set to see high density living become more appealing because it's more affordable. We are seeing people on average uh, being able to borrow about 5% less than they would have say two months ago. Wow, 900,000 <laughs> amount to need. After spending months watching house prices soar, this couple decided to buy a two-bedroom flat in Melbourne. It's probably that three to five year stepping stone um, before we then look to what's that next step with the ultimate goal to get a house. Getting into the market any way they can. Mm.